Now looking at your minuet and trio, so um, I think maybe you need to make sure that you are visiting this piece regularly throughout the week. All right, try not to leave any of your three pieces if possible. Make sure that you are practicing all three of them, treating them equally, okay? Um, so I'll just play through and stop in places. First of all, I think I um, picked up on the second bar that there's a clean break with right hand and left hand. This is going to happen a few times. It'll happen at the end of the line. So there's a clean break before you start. Sometimes it's mainly just before the third beat each time. The same thing will happen. So don't let um, anything linger on. I think it's better there's nice clean breaks and clean lines between the little phrases okay please make sure you use the fingering that's given there one and four you were using a five which I don't really think is I wouldn't advise that okay then line two Good short staccato throughout the end of that line. So the left hand is all staccato, okay? Try and make sure that it doesn't go a bit longer when you're holding a right hand note. Keep the left hand very consistent. So if you listened to just that, that's what you'd hear. All exactly the same length. To the next line again break here okay now for some reason you weren't playing the d sharp you were doing that so make sure the left hand note is there so i shouldn't have left lifted that right hand hold it then lift both together okay and the same thing again Lift both together. Okay. I think it's a bit hard to make that staccato, so if you slur onto that one, that's absolutely fine. I did take a bit of time between the first two lines and the second two lines, because I shouldn't really do that. I was talking. Sure you the music just continues on the beat now the second section the trio okay the left hand again just light and then hold the crotchets for the full length short 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 hold up Now that line needs some careful work. It's probably the hardest line in the music, I would have said. So from bar 20, make sure you use staccato on the end. Okay. Slur there. Try and hold the thumb because the G is a crotchet. Okay. Now here you've got to make sure that uh, fourth finger on the F is held. Join to that chord. a staccato on that D before you play that chord. I'm not sure you mark that in. I'm just trying to keep it consistent with the slur there and a slur there as well rather than join it. So maybe mark a staccato dot over that D. Okay, that's in bar 21, isn't it? So that you do a slur there, like you do there, but the note that you slur onto is a staccato. That's not what the right hand is doing, mind you, so you have to be careful. Now 
hear they both break because both hands have to move. But hold that F so we hear it, listen to it, joining to the E. Okay, it's been very specifically marked, hasn't it, with the slur over the bar line. Again, a little bit unusual, it's almost emphasising the third beat, whereas normally we emphasise the first beats of the bar, don't we? But this time it's emphasising the third beat, so we need to make sure that is there. Okay, and again, to be consistent, slur with a staccato on the slurred on the paired notes there in bar 22 all right d to f d f again the right hand is just continuing on so the right hand's not copying that but the left hand we've got two three slurred quaver pairs the same we're treating them all exactly the same which is what we always should be doing okay so that line i think you need a, a lot more work very slowly to make sure all the breaks and the slurs are there as they should be. Okay, I'm just going to make sure by playing just the left hand on its own. So from bar 20, break, 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 hold and join. Make sure you've really got that nailed before you put it hands together. Then the um, the last line, this should be fairly straightforward. As long as you read the notes properly. Okay, one thing to make sure of is that the E in the middle bar in that line is held to the rest because it's a minim. Okay, so it should stay down. Make sure you read these Fs and A flats correctly. Okay. Okay. Now those last two bars, or particularly the penultimate bar, Again, lots of practice there. I'm going to take it just the but the beat before. So from there, lift and make a break. Sorry, B flats. Now, unfortunately, you've run out of fingers, so we can't join to the next chord. So there will have to be a little hop to get to that. We can't do anything about that. Like that. Sorry. Getting the notes right. So B flat, D and C. Might be worth just practicing jumping to that chord. Then join everything, put the two over. And if you can, join to the one and three at the end in the left hand. And then break, right? If it's too much of a stretch to do that, do a little break if necessary, all right? So um, I'm actually gonna take it from bar 29, at the beginning of that bar. Okay, then you're supposed to go back to the beginning, so make sure you practice doing that. 